I'm going to show you a really cool way to make a video consisting of pictures and music, all with software that is probably already installed on your Windows PC. Let's jump in. So we're going to be using ClipChamp, which comes pre-installed on any Windows 11 machine. If you don't have it installed, I'll put a link in the description so you can click on that and download that from the Microsoft Store. And this is a really cool way to make a video for birthdays or holidays or celebrations, weddings, whatever you want. And it works like this. We're going to open up ClipChamp here, and this is the main screen that you'll see. And you want to click on Create a New Video up here. And this brings you to the main editing workspace. Now on the left hand menu, you want to go to your media tab and you want to click on import media. And from here, you just want to navigate to whatever photos that you want to use for this. I'm just going to go to my pictures here and we're going to select these and open. And then if you have some music that you would like to add, you can add that the same way. Or if you don't have music, you can go up here to your content library. And we're just going to go over to audio. And we're going to go to music. And you can go through here and find whatever music that you want to use for this. I'm just going to add some piano music here and preview them. Let's go with that. So we're just going to hit that plus sign. We're going to add that into the timeline down here. Okay, now we're going to go back up to our media and we're going to start building the video out here. You can either go through and just add the plus icons here and add them or you can grab and drag them over this way. So we're just going to add some of these photos here and we could just slide and drag them wherever we want them to be. It's going to zoom in just a little bit so I can see a little bit more detail there. You can just delete the spaces just like that. Okay, you of course can also adjust how long that these play for. So you could adjust these out, make them different lengths. You could do, you know, however you want it to be. And then we're just going to go over here. We're going to trim the music out at the end of that. So now we just have the music for the length of the photos. Now, when you click on any of these individual photos here, you can change the size of them, right? You can click on just certain elements. You can even have them be centered. You know, you can do different things this way to however you want it to be laid out. You can, of course, adjust the filters and color effects, saturation. You could do, maybe we want that to be black and white. You could change all those things over here as well in this panel. And so we're going to add some even more elements. We're going to go to the effects panel over here. We're going to search for slow zoom. And now you can see the image slowly zooms in. Now we're going to go up here to the music. I'm just going to bring the volume down a little bit. And then you could go over to the next photo. Okay, so we'll add that to a couple of these. You can see as it goes in, zooms into that one. And you can even make the speed faster, slower. So you can add these different effects throughout the, the each photo. Maybe each photo you want different. Maybe you want them all to be the same. Whatever your preference is. And then next, we could add some transitions. So you see if you click between the photos, you'll see Add Transition. You click Add. And then you have the options of what you want. Maybe you just want a simple crossfade. Select the duration. And now we see what that looks like. See that crossfades. Uh, maybe we want to add a transition over here. And we want it to be this one. Increase the duration. You can see what this looks like. Or if you don't want any, you could just leave the transitions out and just have it cut from photo to photo. Again, whatever the preference is and matching the mood of the music, looking at listening to how the music sounds, might want things to go a little faster or a little slower, or if there's a beat that you want to land on, you can do all of that. And you can get it all adjusted just the way you want. You could go over to text. You could add a, a text to the top of this. Maybe you want to call it our vacation. You could add effects to that. VHS effect there. You can go our vacation. And then once you have everything the way that you want it to be, then all you have to do is go up to the export button, click on the format that you want it to export in, and choose where you want that to save. If you want it to go to your, you know, you can see it automatically starts processing up here. 
You could change the name of the video and then you could just download it to your computer or you can save it to your OneDrive, to the Google Drive, upload it directly to YouTube, wherever you want it to be. I'm just gonna save it to the computer and it will then download that video onto your desktop. And with that, you have a really cool photo montage for whatever the occasion is and pretty easy within ClipChamp. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.